painting on location at Port Crescent Day Park. It's a beautiful park here right near my cottage and I'm just right along the Pinnabog River um, just sitting in my chair listening to nature and relaxing for a few minutes before I head home and this is what I will be painting today. A beautiful beautiful scene. I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background. All the noises of nature. It's so pretty. It's quiet relaxing here. I'm in a beautiful sandy spot. Diesel is with me. <laughs> he was down by the river a minute ago getting a drink. And let's get started. There are a few things um, that I'm doing today. I'm not using my plein air uh, bag because I just wanted to come out and do a quick sketch. It's really windy today so I'll be using a lot of clips. You know how I use a medicine vial for my water. I took some Gorilla Glue and glued a steel washer to the bottom of it that you can see here and I took one of those magnetic clips that I had bought an 18 pack of a long time ago and I'm putting it, I put mine on the left side because I'm left handed and that's where my water will be sitting is right there on my metal clip so it'll stay and it's not going anywhere it's super windy so I'm gonna to have to clip everything down I'm just using an MDF panel um, to clip with and um, I'm gonna take my one clip here and clip it to the top there and then another clip over here to clip down not all the pages, but I can take my rubber band. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. took my rubber band to keep my pages down, but I took the clip that won't open wide enough for this full book, and I put it a few pages in. So that's fine for that. And then I've got another clip that I'm going to use for my... What I had four. Actually, maybe I didn't use one here. That's what it was. I just clipped this over here. That's what I did. And kept my book in place. Then I take a paper towel that's folded and I clip this down under here. Like this. And then my watercolors. Now, there is somebody, somebody asked me to watch a video the other day. And it just happened to be somebody I knew who lives nearby me who did the video and showed her set up with uh, this plastic clasped stuff that she uses and Velcro and all this stuff. I am going to make a better setup for that, but for this, this will work fine for me. And I can set my palette right next to me here and use my final clip to clip my palette down like that. And it'll keep it still. So now I've got everything I need right here and I can go ahead and start my composition and I'll spray my, um, watercolors when I'm ready. And I'm just going to grab a pencil here. Now if you're looking out over this and you think, wow, that's such a vast view, it is really pretty. I think I might even do a double wide spread because there's so much that I want to cover here. So I think I'm going to do that with the river going up along one side. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get that going. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Let me take my camera here and show you that how loose the sketch is. I mean, it is just a very loose sketch. There's not a lot to it. That's all I've got down on my paper. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and get started with the painting. They're just marks for me to know where I want to put things. And that's basically I have some tap water from home. If I run out, I've got a full river full of water. The only thing with that is you have to be careful that you're not um, uh, contaminating your paints. People have been known to do that, and then they end up with mold in their paints. And that's an awful thing to have happen. I don't want to muddy up my paints. I, I don't know how some people can work with super dirty palettes and then end up with such beautiful paintings. It just floors me. <laughs> 
And I'm just going to grab my brushes out. I'm going to use my number eight uh, silver black velvet, which is a good size for this size, um, what you call it, uh, book. I'm just using my five by eight um, Pentalic Aqua Journal. I'm also going to use my Billy Shoal number six. Uh, it's a sable brush and it comes to a very, very fine point, which I really love. It's used basically for um, botanical painting. And I'm going to also get out my my Anna Mason number five. Oh no, this isn't. This is an eclipse brush. I think it's a number three for helping to get paint out if I'm having any trouble. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I'm going to wear my wristband today because I have this here. So I'm going to start with the sky. The sky is beautiful today. I do have some cloud cover. So I'm going to grab that Kleenex to make my clouds in my sky. And I'm just going to hold that for now. And I'll put my sky in here. I do have some trees that will be going along the top, but the green will blend nicely with the blue, so I'm not worried about any of that. I'm going to use ultramarine blue. Putting it on my palette first so that I know what the concentration of the blue is. I got a nice deep blue sky. I'm going right over my tree line. And bringing it across here. I want to bring it way down so that I'm sure if I have any sky holes in my trees I get them in there. Um, now I'm just going to take my Kleenex and rumple it up. Oof, this wind. Very windy. Hopefully I'm not too late. I am a little late because my paper's drying already. I'm going to add some more blue. I may not get my clouds like I wanted. Got one that's going way across the sky like that. I got a little bit of the tissue left behind here, so some of this is going to go behind the trees. I got wetted a little bit. Maybe I could get a little more off of here. Yeah, that helps. You got to catch it quick, but there's so much wind today that I had trouble getting the clouds, but that's all right. Nobody needs to know whether it's a cloudy day or not. I'm the only one who knows. And it's supposed to be raining right now, so I'm very thankful for this weather. Thank you, God. Got it made. I'm going to put my clip back on so my book doesn't blow away here. And I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a bit.
it's so cold and windy today. Actually, when the sun comes out, it's hot. So I was rolling up my sleeves and all comfortable. And then the, this cloud came over and, ah, uh, oh, and check out this cloud. Whoa. Check that out, how it's all fuzzy right along there. Just that one cloud. It's probably from the wind. I got everything tilted, sorry. But isn't that cool right there? But anyway, I found that I'm hurrying so much because I got cold and the flies were biting me like crazy. So if you saw me flailing and jerking and stuff, it was from the flies. I'm going to take some photos with me. And that way, if I want to redo this as a painting, I know what I've done wrong now. And I can do a painting that would look a lot prettier. But for a sketch, this just gives me an idea. And I'm not done here. I've got to put detail in over here. Even though it's far away, it needs a little bit of detail. Not a lot. But these little bushes that are coming down into the river, these plants really need to have something. So I'm just going to go over this so that the dark spots show. And then underneath here, it's really dark by the water, by the water's edge. Oh, burn! It's only about 60 degrees out, but we got 30 mile an hour winds. So the wind chill is probably much cooler. The color of the river has changed totally, and now I've got lots of ripples on the river where it was calm before. I don't know if you can see out there. Which way am I pointing? There we go. It's hard to see with my sunglasses, polarized sunglasses on a viewfinder that is too dark for me to see, but you can see the ripples. I'll put those in later. And I'm going to get back to it here. Let's see if I can try and solve this. <laughs> just watched a bird. I thought it was a duck, but the way it made its noise, it didn't quack like a duck. But these birds are diving into the water over here, and they're um, skidding across, grabbing fish, and then they're flying up into the trees over here. It is amazing to watch. I've just been sitting here, and it's just, oh, it's amazing. And the flies have stopped biting me. I hope I didn't jinx myself. And the sun has come back out. Now I can peel my clothes down again. Okay, so we had to get back to the car. We were getting bit up so bad. I mean, it's horrible out there, those flies. And Diesel already got bit by a cattle fly this year. And if you're familiar, you can Google it and see how gross it is. Um, he had it, the same thing happened last year. And these black flies, they bite so hard 
they say they're different than like a mosquito bite or uh, something like that where you have a needle that goes into your skin and shoots venom and then takes the blood. These black flies, they tear the skin. That's how they do it. They're like micro abrasions and they cut you and that's why they hurt. Oh my God, I must have got bit about 150 times. And I was struggling trying to paint that darn sketch because the flies were driving me nuts. And then I was near an ant hill, so I had little ants that were crawling all over me. They were harmless, but they made me itch. And oh, they were going up my pant legs and I just had to get out of there. I, I'm i gonna do it again because that is such a gorgeous place and I'd love to spend more time there, but I, I'm just not feeling well lately. And I've got this, problem in my spine that just it just kills me so I can't stay anywhere for more than about a half hour and then I gotta go but um <clears throat> I took pictures too so I can reproduce it I might do it in my big book my eight and a half by eleven book or maybe I'll just paint it as a painting that would be cool too a big like 18 by 20 or something like that that might be cool too but I only have hot press paper that size with me so We'll see. But anyway, get out there. And whether you're painting a good sketch or a bad sketch, even if you go to a park and just do a plein air thing, um, especially on a weekday, I didn't see any people until I was packing up and they were so far away, they probably didn't even know I was there. Or if they did, they just turned around and left. So, but be courageous, you know? Paint with wild abandon and be kind to each other and it'll all work out. I was just telling somebody in a comment today, he struggles with the white page. And I know I, I mentioned this in my flip through video. Your, or maybe it was a different video. Those pages are just a pad of paper. That's all they are is a pad of paper. And they're not precious until you put your work on the page. So you got to put something on there. Even if it's crappy and it's a failure, if it's failing, finish it anyway. And then see if you can fix it. Maybe you use some white gouache and go over things. Um, I do that. Um, but always try to finish it. Whether it's working out or not working out, don't give up on it. Because sometimes you'll be surprised that you can save things, you know? So anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Have a great day, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.